in the previous video we learned the three rules of the inequation and after learning and after getting the concept of the three rules of this uh, inequations now we can easily learn how we can solve an inequation and here we're going to discuss the steps that is involved while solving an inequations all right so the first step is you know uh, collect uh, collect all variables into one side all variables uh, variables uh, in in the sense those terms which contains the variables all right in one side this is our first rule and in the second rule I want to say uh, mm, uh, I mean simplify it all right simplify simplify inequation inequation in this form in these form uh, something like uh, we're talking about the linear inequations all right it may be like ax is greater than or equals to b or you may convert it into the ax is simple greater than b or uh, the third form it may be ax is less than b less than or equals to b or fourth form may be ax is less than uh, b all right we need to convert into this form and the third one we need to divide divide uh, divide a variable variable by its coefficient by its coefficient coefficient by its coefficient in both side in both sides all right so here what i mean to say like let's take an example of this suppose all right so if we have the if you have the inequation something like ax is greater than or equals to b then in next step what we'll be doing ax divided by a is greater than or equals to b divided by a so a and a will cancel up and then x is greater than or equals to b by a so here we get the solution now all right and now we will write uh, write the uh, solution solution it is all right solution in interval form in interval form interval form interval form something like here we have b by a so x is all the x which uh, means here x represents those numbers which are equals to b by a and bigger than b by a till infinity all right uh, we need to take uh, open bracket because we cannot take here infinity so this is the way how to solve right so these are the just just uh, just these four rules collect all the variables into one side and write simplify it into this form and then divide by the coefficient of the variable both side and then just write into the interval form let's take an example let's say i have uh, any equation very simple i'm going to do here um, uh, so that you can easily understand let's say 3x minus uh, 27 is greater than or equals to zero all right so this is my equation and my first rule is to collect all the variable containing into one side so here my variable is a uh, variable containing term is 3x so i will write if there were more into the left hand side and right hand side then i will try to make into the one side all right so i'll first write this 3x into one side and i will write this term into the another side all right so this is now 27 here it is minus all right when it will go another side it will be plus it's very basic thing so 3x equals to 27 and the second rule is you know simplify it and convert into the ax uh, out of out of this four convert into the one and now here it is exactly working with this all right so ax is greater than or equals to b and here we have uh, 3x is greater than or equals to 27 and now the uh, now the third rule is divide uh, by the coefficient of the variable the coefficient of the variable is here 3 all right so we have to divide both side left hand side as well as right hand side by the variable all right so here also i divided and here also i divided now what i can do i can cancel this and this so now what i get that x is greater than or equals to 3 times 9 it is all right so 9 so x is greater than or equals to 9 and if you see in the number line all right if this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 you know 11 and so on till infinity and it's negative infinity so here uh, our solution is all the numbers you know all the numbers which are greater than 9 and equals to 9 so including 9 all the bigger numbers all the bigger numbers in the real number line this is the solution of this inequation now this is the solution so we need to write the fourth rule is write it into the interval form all right so x is here equals to now including 9 so i have to give the bigger bracket till infinity all right so this is the solution of this uh, of this of this uh, given equation in equation 
3x minus 27 is greater than or equals to 0 all right uh, if you have more uh, variables just I'm, I'm saying here like we have here 3x minus 27 is greater than or equals to let's say uh, 2x uh, plus 6 suppose like this we have then what we will be doing the first rule collect all the variables into the one side so variable containing terms is this one and this one so we'll keep this into the one side so first I'll write 3x and here it is plus it will come this side so it will be minus 2x all right when it will go this side it will be minus and this is numbers so we'll take it into the another side all right so it is 6 and this is minus 27 it will be plus 27 so now it's going to be x equals to now 6 plus 27 it's 33 so directly we got it all right uh, we don't have any uh, we don't have to here further divide by 1 all right because dividing 1 to any side is the same thing because the third step is divide by the coefficient of the variable so there is no need to uh, divide it but uh, but uh, instead of here x we had something else let's say uh, let's say if this was 9x let's say if this was 9x and if this was uh, 3x suppose then that time it will be uh, 9x minus 3x it will be 6x all right so 6x is greater than or equals to 33 so that time what we have to do we have to divide here also by 6 here also by 6 and that time our solution will be x is greater than or equals to 11 by 3 so it's uh, 3 11 and 3 2 all right so it is 11 over 2 And now uh, to write into the interval form, you can easily write x is equal with 11 by 2 till infinity. It's equals to sign. That's why you need to give the uh, closed bracket. And if it was just just if there was no this equals to sign, then you have to just give a open bracket sign. All right. Till infinity. I hope you understand how to find the solution. And we're going to do a lot of practice. All right. So there you'll clear more and more doubts. I hope you understand how to find the solution of 